Except I don't know how that helps me. Wait a second. Pendant time! Never mind. I thought that would do something, but it didn't. Itching my nose again. And welcome back to Mr. Red Play's Chrono Trigger. Uh, time update, it is now 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to do this before I just pass out in this chair that I'm sitting in, which is bound to happen. I actually wanted to look up because, um, this is interesting. I am recording this episode and it comes out Monday the 14th. And I recorded the last two episodes of Sweet 776 before this, hours ago. Um, the last episode of which comes out Tuesday, September 22nd. Um, and those episodes I recorded already. And in those episodes, I referenced the fact that it's like midnight. Um, and now, if you're watching this, these come out first. This comes out on, like I said, the 14th. And this, I'm, going, I'm referencing how it's this time. So... Very weird uh, time, time. The way this all works out is just very weird. But together we can get through it. I've defeated this robot. What's my health situation looking like? Not good. All right, so why don't, Marl, why don't you do something for once? <laughs> um, why don't you heal Chrono again? And what about, yeah, heal Luca as well. Should you heal yourself? Nah, probably not. I think he'll be okay. I think I'm doing alright in magic, too, because you have 20 out of 26, 28 out of 30, 23 out of 28, yeah. We're, we're fine there. Okay, so everything's fine, everything's cool. Let's see what there is. Uh-oh. Okay! I think we're in a new- well, it's new, definitely, but I think we're out of the woods, so to speak. Marl says, Phew, something reeks. Maybe not. What is that? Where are we? Everything's completely rotten. The refrigeration must have failed. Wait, the food! No, the food storage! Uh-oh. Corona. Corona, look! Passed away long ago, I suppose. He's holding something. What do you suppose this is? I don't know. Let's find out. Hopefully it's a password? It looks like some kind of- It looks like some kind of seed. What? A seed? How do you suppose it could grow in a place like this? Probably not. Why would you have a seed? Got one mid ether, that's good. The following is written on a soiled sheet of paper. The rat is more than just a statue. It knows the secret of this dome. Catch it! I know exactly what that's referring to. Oh, hell yes. Okay, all right. There, there it is. Shh, it might, it might run away. Dash with the B button, catch him with the A button, okay. You know, come back! Oh, he ran away. No, no, come back here. Hey, 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 rat. You filthy rat. You dirty rat. Hey, come back here. Hey! Where the hell do you think you're going? Oh, I'm so close. No! Wait, where'd it go? Oh, no! Is it gone? Did you see a rat? Did you see a rat come through here? There's an old factory cycle, like protodome to the east. Can't get near it because there's a bunch of... Okay, I already read this. Did I miss out on the rat? A save point. Yes. Good. I don't, I'm not going to use a shelter. Have any money? Sure. What do you got for me? Um... Oh, is this all the same stuff? It is. Alright, I don't care about this then. Save some money, it'll do you good. Good, alright. Get out of here, text. Is that... Wait, it's what that guy who walked to the other dome used to say. Oh, that guy that <laughs> I talked to? Way down in the south area? Alright, I feel like that rat... I feel like it got away when I, uh... When it, when it hit, hid through here, so I have to like... Keep going after it. Oh, I'm close now. I'm a lot closer this time. Maybe I can do this. Maybe I can do this. Got him. Got the rat. Squeak, I give up. I'll tell you everything, Squeak. Press and hold the L and R buttons. And then press A to access the secret passage, Squeak. Don't make any mistakes or you'll be sorry. What? I'm doing it! L and R and A. Where? Right here? What? I don't get it. That's so weird. Fight the robot again, aw oh, man. Up here? Where? Is that the password, maybe? This doesn't do anything, by the way, when I do this. 
Huh. I'm actually going to make sure that I have the L and R buttons mapped the way I think they are. I tried both. Neither of them worked. Yeah. They're right. So... I guess I don't understand. Uh, maybe I have to do it. Maybe that I have to do it in the password area, since I, I assume that thing was gonna give me the password, and maybe it did. I don't know. Let's go find out. Oh wait. Well, there's a different. A memo is attached to it. Warning: Anyone within the vicinity of the stock room will be attacked. Oh. All right. That's honestly what I thought it was referring to when I when it first said the rat. I thought it was that rat that I passed, but no. Oh, I did it! Yes, okay, I pressed L and R and then A. It worked. Awesome. Uh oh. Uh 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 oh. I guess I'm fighting the rats and a bugger. Ew. Attacked by a moving object. Wait, it hit the rat. Wait a second, it hit the rat. It didn't hit me. I'm gonna wait a second, because it hit the rat. I want to see if it attacks the rat again. Not rat again, but rat again. Attacked by moving object. So it just fought the rat for me. Oops. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, it's gonna attack me now, because I attacked it. That's cool. Alright, great. That was really neat that it, uh... It attacks anything that moves, and if you... Uh, I've been playing Mario, uh, Rabbid, the Mario Rabbids game on Nintendo Switch. Um, I know it's older, but I, I just got it. And that, there, there's an enemy in that game where if you move, or no, or rather, if you attack it, then it attacks you immediately. It gets, like, a reaction attack. And they're very frustrating to deal with, because you get... Ew. Ew! Oh, God, I hate that. Good thing I can't get to it. That's a that's a small blessing. Yeah, that game's a lot of fun. I do want to clarify something that I talked about in a previous episode. I think in the first episode that I recorded tonight, I said that I was playing Subnautica on the PS4. And that's true, but that's less true than is true that I'm playing The Last of Us on the PS4. So Last of Us 2 came out recently, and people have been saying that it's great. And people said the first game was great. Um, and I had actually, I had played it, bug, Oh, I had played it, uh, year, when it first came out, I, I, I rented it for the PS3, because I had one, and, oh, good, it missed, that was weird, um, but yeah, I, I rented it for the PS3, I rented it at, like, Family Video, because you can rent games at Family Video, but I didn't have enough time to finish it, I think I only rented it, you only get it for, like, three days, um, I only played for like an hour or two on one of the days, and then I just had to like put it away for a while. Um, and I always meant to go back to it, but I just never had the opportunity or like the time to. And now it's coronavirus time, so I have pl I have all the time in the world. Um, and the second game came out, and the I had the PS4. The remastered version is on there, so I just got it. I think I, I might have got both of them, I don't remember. Proto 2? What was Proto 1? Was that giant thing Proto 1? No. Because this is a huge downgrade <laughs> from that thing. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. I, I do have some issues with it. I'm not going to get too into it because this isn't the Last of Us 2 cast. I'm not like just talking about generic video game. Not generic, but like, you know, every video game. Uh, I just, it's, it's like the way Joel moves I have a lot of weird issues with. Like, you, you do this thing where you're supposed to stealth and to do so you have to like crouch and listen and when you do that Joel takes up so much of the screen he's like so he's like the entire screen is full of Joel um and it's just so hard to actually see and for a game where it's it's all stealth based and you're supposed to look around and see everything it seems weird to me but hey look at that I pressed L and R and did it here and it did the same thing except I don't know how that helps me wait a second Pendant time! Never mind. I thought that would do something, but it didn't. Itching my nose again. Alright, well... It's frustrating when the game gives you something like doing the L and R and A button, and it opens up something cool, but useless. <laughs> like, I can't do anything right now with that. So... It just seems like 
why have me unlock it if I can't do anything with it? Maybe I can. Maybe I'm supposed to be able to get through those. I just don't know how. Or they unlock at a later date. Lucas says, my God, my nose. My God, my nose. So, this is the info center. Good. The computer's still operational. If we run a search on time warps, we might find our gate. You can just do that, huh? You know, search for time warps. Just, hey, are there any time warps around? Where's the nearest time warp? I'm going to yelp time warps right now. Also, this area reminds me of Captain America, the second one. Yeah, Winter Soldier. That's the one. You know, with the big green dude in the computer. That dude. That's what I, that's what this makes me think of. All right. Uh, yeah, do that yelp search, <laughs> will ya? Okay, here, got it. Awesome, that was easy. Hey, I wanna see that. There we go, thanks. East of Eris Dome. Oh, is it gonna show me on the map? Oh, that's cool. This game is really advanced, I think. Like, this is all very interesting stuff. Oh, that's far. Oh, it's in another dome? That's frustrating. That would be Protodome, I believe. That would be Protodome, no, that was Luca. Protodome, I believe. Leave it to Luca. I'm making you think you can find anything with this device. Yeah, probably. Say, what does this button do? Don't touch it! Why would you do that? Marl! 1999 AD? Are we going to 1999? Are we going to party like it's 1999? Visual record of the day of Lavos. What? 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 Whoa, 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 whoa! What is happening? Oh my god! What is this? This is awesome. Like, I can't really put into words how cool this is to me. This is really cool. Time travel, natural disaster, or, or some kind of apocalypse thing and time travel. This is all very awesome. Marl. What's, what's, which one is Marl? I'm getting so loopy right now. It's quarter after three. Uh, what is that? Lavos. Is that what's destroying our world? We must truly be in the future. No! Look at her face. No way! I refuse to believe it! That's awesome. This... What? This what? Marl, this what? This can't be the way the world ends. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, well. Tough. Tough toenails. Grow now. There's only one thing we can do. We must change history just like... I accidentally hit the button. I'm sorry! I didn't mean to! Okay, Luca! Ah, uh, that's impossible, Marl. You can't change history. You can only let the past die. Kill it, if you have to. You like my Kylo Ren impression? Okay, Cro okay, Chrono! Yeah, sure, why not? I got nothing else to do today. I guess so. It was a stroke of luck that we were sent here through the gate. Chrono, let's go. <laughs> no, I think I'm good. I'm gonna stay here in this terrifying apocalyptic laboratory. Chrono, Luca, together we can do this. Let's take a second and do some more research on Lavos's activities back in our time period. Next up, Protodome. Wait. Are we gonna Are we gonna take a second and review Lavos's activities in whatever you just said? Seems like you just said to do that. What is this now? Oh, is this Oh, it's showing us back to the gate, I think. Oh, that's cool. In case you like didn't get it fully. All right, well, this is the button that she pressed. Is this the one that's gonna show us? No, it's just gonna do this again. Oh, no, it is gonna show us. Okay, good. All right, great. Well, we don't need to see this, do we? All right, cool. So my question is, when did that happen in relation to where I am now? Because that seemed to, ha that happened in 1999, <laughs> which is very funny to me. I, I choose to think of it as our world's 1999. Um. You know, everyone was worried about Y2K. We should have been worried about Lavos. Um, and now, oh no, oh God no. I have to fight a boger and a, a bugger, sorry, and a rat. Whoa, wait, do I have to attack those rats? 
Alright, I'm not gonna fight that thing. I'm just gonna fight these rats. Hopefully that guy won't... won't fight me. If I don't attack it. Hopefully it's it only attacks the rats. <laughs> you have to fight that thing, don't you? You have to fight the rat. From way over there. It's so far away, it's not even in the same plane as me. Oh well. I'm not mad. Just disappointed. Ow! Stop it! What if I don't move? Will it just stay there and hang out? I bet it will. I bet it actually wouldn't attack me if I didn't attack it, but I have to, so I will. Here we go. Boom. Gotty. Gotty 530. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, so, Lavos destroyed the world. Luca said, is that what's destroying our world? And I don't really know what she's referring to there. Is some- Whoops. Is something going on that I should know about? Have I just missed out on something completely? That's likely. Um, but I, I, I think I can stop it. Seems like I'd be able to. Hey, can I put these things to sleep? Like, uh, let's use a tech. Let's let's provoke. Let's confuse it. What happens if I confuse it? What? Uh, what? <laughs> what was that then? She just slapped her butt. She just spanked herself. What the hell is that supposed to do? <laughs> why did it do? Why did she do that? Is that supposed to confuse it? Maybe if it was like a lady shadow and it was now confused about its sexuality. I'd believe that, but that was very weird. <laughs> this game, I don't... This game has a very weird tone thing going on because it it sometimes seems very, like, serious and, and sci-fi dramatic and everything, but then it also seems very childish and cartoony and, and, and weird. And I can't really get a full handle on it. Maybe it's because it's it's very early game and so it, like, doesn't know that stuff yet. Damn it! I gotta fight these guys again? No, I don't. See? I Thanos snapped them out of existence with just the worst editing <laughs> you've ever seen. Uh, okay, so, n yeah, I, I don't understand when lap. Oh, I guess, never mind about that, because we're gonna do a cutscene, I guess. I was just in the middle of a conversation with myself. It's fine, though. Uh, you're back. You're Batman. You're back, man. That's funny. Wow, is everybody just gonna gather around? I don't like this. Are you guys gonna kill me? This feels very Game of Thronesy, where everyone's just surrounding me, and I'm just like, oh god, what's gonna happen? Well, what did you discover? Did you find the body? Actually, I did. This is our future. What are you talking about? Yeah. Hmm, I should say so. Who cares? Where's the food? Oh, yeah. About that. This is all we could get. Seeds. You don't know how long the Enertron will hold out. Those seeds might be your only hope. They might be your only... Peter. You have to stay alive, and so do we. Yeah, that's generally the goal. Huh? Huh? You're strange. You're different from us. I think it's because we're healthy. <laughs> healthy? Got a nice ring to it. What the hell is going on? We'll try growing these seeds. <laughs> this is so weird. By the way, I'm wearing these um, slippers that have... These slippers have like these little rubber beads on the bottom. And I just scrape them across the, the leg of the desk or the table that I'm sitting at. It's making squeaky sounds. Let's see if it can pick up. I'm going to look at the capture. Yes, it picks up. That's funny. So that's what that sound was. Uh, and then the kid says, what are those? And it's a very funny reference. Uh, they just might be our future. Do they, they, they don't believe me, but they do believe me. I don't understand this game anymore. It's lost me. Heading for Protodome, go by way of Laboratory 32 and take this with ya. I got a bike key, awesome. It's a key to the jet bike in Lab 32. I used to ride it when I was young. Hope it still works, that's cool. They've got more powerful robots over there. Take care and stay healthy. I've never heard this term, but I like it. Can I get through, please? All right, yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Push you aside there. This game is so weird. It's so weird. 
Like, I can't tell if it's a, like, a, a comedy game, a comedic game, or if it's just for kids. It's a very fine line, I don't, I don't know. But I'm into it. It's, it's quite cool. Hey, and we made it out, so what's this now? We'll go through, well, I don't want to go through sewer access, because that's the southern thing. This is Lab 32, I bet. Yeah, alright. So, we'll save for now, and then in the next episode, we're going to be there. We're going to go through Lab 32. Are you ready for it? Because I'm ready for it. Thanks for watching. Tune in in two days? Yes, two days. For more exciting Chrono Trigger adventures, uh, I hope to see you again. Bye, everyone.